Hey student success, welcome to week five of our semester. So I am in the week five assignment uh, video. So if you have not watched the lecture video for this week that covers chapter 12, you wanna make sure you go ahead and do that. It also talks about a couple of really great resources that go right along with the concepts from this chapter as well as the assignments for this week. So you can see that this is actually a really busy week in terms of assignments. You have four assignments, so it's a little bit more than probably what we're used to at this point, especially the last couple of weeks have been a little lighter with assignments. So just wanted to make sure that you are aware of that fairly early on now. So we do have a discussion forum this week. So back to discussion forum after taking a week off from having one of those. Your original post is due by Wednesday for week five attendance and then respond to two classmates by Sunday. Now, this assignment right here, Exploring Educational Pathways, is the basis for your discussion forum. So you actually are also going to have to get this assignment done by Wednesday in order to post in the discussion forum. So those two need to be done by Wednesday. These two assignments are due Sunday. So let's go ahead and jump in. So here's our assignment folder. The very first thing in the discussion forum, the two assignments that are due Wednesday, are gonna be in this separate folder right here. So we're gonna click into here. And here's a quick little video if you want to watch uh, specifically talking about one of the resources that are going to be used to help us complete this assignment is Career Coach. So you're welcome to watch that video. Uh, I'm not going to obviously pull it up here, but you can do that on your own. So the first thing you're going to do this week is complete this Exploring Educational Pathways to a Career Assignment. So we're going to pop this open. It's going to open up in its own window and it is going to talk to you a little bit. So you're going to listen through. As you click through, it's going to have you click on different uh, pages that are associated with the college, where you can get different resources, little videos embedded. So please make sure you spend some time going through there, exploring the actual contents and resources. I'm going to go ahead and jump to the assignment part. So you're going to see in here, degree choice one and degree choice two. So here is kind of how you can approach this. If you have a declared major, that is going to be your degree choice one, right? That's going to, what you're gonna use as the basis for this is your actual major. Degree choice two then can be something for fun. Maybe you're going into mechanical engineering, but then choice two, you always thought it would be interesting to go into culinary. Or maybe you wanna look at something kind of connected to maybe mechanical engineering, so you're gonna look at a different field of engineering. That's one way to go about this. The other way is maybe you're not decided at all. Maybe you're undecided, you're still a high school student, you're CCP. So you can take this as an opportunity to look at two different degrees that might interest you. So what you could possibly see yourself going into. That's how you can approach this. So it just depends on where you are, if you have your major declared or not. So where are you going to find this information? All right, so we're gonna start right here. Each degree choice is going to have these two boxes. So you're gonna have to do this twice, Just choice one and choice two. So we're gonna look at this information here. So for this, I'm gonna to go to the Stark State homepage. I'm gonna go under academics and I'm gonna find my career umbrella, like the career community. So I'm gonna use like physical therapy assistant as my example. So I'm gonna go into health, but you're gonna go into whatever one fits your degree choice. So I'm gonna click into here. Once you get into these pages, a lot of them look very similar. You're going to have kind of just general information about your field contact information, different skills. It's going to have like a snapshot of other careers in that, in this case, health umbrella or education umbrella, whatever it is you're looking at. You're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and then here's where all the degrees are listed. So same thing, doesn't matter what page you're on, they're all gonna be toward the bottom. I'm gonna click on my degree that I'm using, physical therapy assistant, and it's gonna give me even more information about my program plan here. Lots of links to click on, information, but for our assignment, I'm gonna click on courses and I'm gonna click on my PDF, okay? And it doesn't matter if I clicked full-time or part-time, same information, the only thing that differs is down here, it kind of gives you a path that you could take. So you can see I have lots of information up here. So I'm gonna pull this up and it wants to know what division? Well, right here, health and public services where it's gonna say business and information technology. Um, it's gonna say, you know, liberal arts, whatever it's going to say there. It's gonna have right here, arts and sciences. So there's my division, I'm gonna type that right here. My degree, Associate of Applied Science. So whatever is right across the top. So maybe you are working on a certificate, you're gonna put that right there. The major is going to be the name of the degree you're getting, you know, 
physical therapy assistant, and then the program requirements. So that's what all of this is. I do not expect you to type in all of this information. So keep it really general. So I would type for this, oh, I need to have 67 credits. And then it says, see last page for footnotes. So I'm gonna scroll and I have to have a minimum of C in all my technical courses. And I have to apply to the program. So that's what I mean by program requirements. I would type in here, minimum grade C, 67 credits, and a program application. So you do not need to type all these different courses, just if there's any specifics, you're all gonna have credit hours. Some of you might have GPA requirements, some of you might have program requirements. So that's what you would type in on this box down here. Okay, so that's where you get the information for that first part. Where do I go to get the information down here? What well, says right here on Career Coach? So I'm gonna go back to my homepage. I'm gonna scroll all the way down under Quick Links. Here's Career Coach. We are gonna use Career Coach in another week, but for right now, we're just gonna to go to Browse Careers and I'm gonna type in physical therapy or physical therapy assistant. You get your research results and then you look to see which one is the best fit. So I'm gonna click right here. And this is a really great page of information. Um, I really encourage you to go ahead and like click around and get to know this page. And there's lots of good stuff here. It talks about just a real quick overview, what these, you know, in this case, the PTA does, how much you can expect to make, employment that you can expect over the next, you know, how it's been changing in the next year or two, similar careers and postings that are going on right now. So click around and get to know that page. But for this assignment, it's going to ask, oops, what is the job or career? Obviously I would just type in physical therapy assistant. My average salary right there, as soon as I log in, it tells me my average. The job postings, so I'm gonna to go to job postings, and I do not have to type in all of these, maybe just the first two or three. So I would type in, you know, Health PRO Heritage and Conquest Services into that job postings. And then qualifications, I would go back here, and my qualifications, I might type in like, oh, an associate's degree, and I also need to know about, you know, infection control and rehab and research and communication skills. So again, I'm not typing in everything I see on that page. I can type that there, then I hit submit, and then I do the same thing with choice number two, okay? So that's where you get the information from those two locations. Once I am done, that is what I'm going to use for my basis of my discussion form. So you can see it asks you, it says after completing this assignment right here, it wants you to discuss your findings. Like which two degrees did you look into? You know, I looked into physical therapy assistant and occupational therapy assistant. This is what I found interesting, and this is what I found surprising. So you're just kind of telling us a little bit about what you found, what was new, what was interesting, did you already know all this information, what was helpful? So kind of reflecting on what you found in this assignment up here. So original post by Wednesday, respond to two classmates by Sunday. So those two go together. So you wanna make sure that you complete both of those by Wednesday, because you have to have this to complete the discussion form. Okay, back here. Now these two kind of go hand in hand. So the first one is your map page and it says in here, Firefox is going to work best. So I already have Firefox up and going over here. I'm gonna get into my start state. I'm gonna go to the My Stuff tab. Here's map, pulled up right here. Now, we look through, this is a nice, I'm using, um, this is actually my brother's <laughs> from years ago. So his is already done because he graduated. So yours is gonna be in here. This is a nice advising tool. And whenever you're ready, you're going to click that print button. You're not actually going to print it. We're gonna try that again, there we go. I'm gonna click open PDF because you are saving this as a PDF. I'm gonna hit print again. I'm gonna make sure it has saved a PDF and I'm going to save it. I'm just gonna save it right to my desktop and I would change the file name to make it a little bit easier. So that's how you save it as a PDF. Then I'm gonna go back in here, go into my Dropbox, browse my files, there it is. Now I will tell you, if you have a Chromebook or a Mac, this is not gonna be easy for you. So instead of giving yourself a headache, if you have a Chromebook or a map, do not even worry about saving it as a PDF. Take a screenshot of your map page, even if it takes you two or three screenshots. Take screenshots of your map page and then upload your screenshots. For whatever reason, MacBooks and Chromebooks are not compatible with this. If you have just a, a general PC, 
go ahead and do the PDF. So just keep that in mind. Whenever you go and you submit your file, if you do not see the picture of your map page, neither can I. So keep that in mind as well. So that is the map PDF. You're going in, use Firefox, go through the printer, you know, button two times, save it as a PDF. Make sure you save it as a PDF up here so that you can upload that file. That's all you have to do for the map assignment is upload it as a PDF or a screenshot if you have trouble with that PDF. Now the program advisor, this you go in and it is a Word doc. So you're just going to bring this up just like you normally would for any other assignment. And it is going to ask you to fill in some information. I'm keeping it small because I got to go back to my map page. Three of the four pieces of information are on your map page. So what degree is listed, what major is listed, what's your catalog year. So I'm going to bring my map page back up. What is my degree? Well, right in here, my degree is my Associate of Applied Business. So that's what I'm going to put there. What is my major? Right there, major. What is your catalog year? So this one is down just a little bit further. Catalog year, a lot of yours are going to say you know, 21, 22, 22, 23. Now, the only thing that's not in there any longer, used to be there, is your academic advisor. For this, just go back to my CERC state, go to my stuff, and go to student profile. And you're gonna see your advisor's name there. So you're gonna type all the information in, save that, go back in, upload that file, okay? So those are your assignments for week five. You are completing these first two by Wednesday because they go together. Post your original response by Wednesday for week five attendance. Respond to two classmates by Sunday. Complete both of these assignments by Sunday as well. If you have any questions on any of this, please let me know and have a great week. Bye.